another conversation coming up. You can call it uh, the most conducive hospital facility in the greater Accra region. At least it has earned that title and is the 2017 best hospital in the greater Accra region. It may not have all the facilities and uh, luxuries that other hospitals have in the city, but the Ada East Hospital prides itself in premium customer care. For a facility established in a culturally sensitive area, some medical decisions are not easily accepted. So Mata Quintalakwa visited the facility and interacted with a medical superintendent, Dr. Philip Na. So it's not all gloomy in Ghana. Enjoy this piece. <laughs> facility was built in 2003. So virtually we are in 15 years now that we'll be operating. It is the highest government facility for the district. Uh, Ada East District, okay. Uh, we'll be operating since now we have a total staff strength about 180 staff. That includes five doctors and two dentists. Uh, we provide 24-hour service, as you know. I see. Uh, but generally, on a day, how many patients do you get coming? Um, averagely about 200 a day. Daily. Daily. Okay. We get about 200 patients a day. But uh, the facilities in the hospital are they all what you need, or you need more than what you have now? Uh, yes. Uh, in fact, we 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 have enough. But we will need some few uh, other facilities so to support. Facilities you have now? In fact, we run the general uh, outpatient services and the inpatient. Uh, we have also physiotherapy where we uh, see patients with stroke and other ailments. We have theater that we operate, dental units, uh, antenatal where we see the pregnant women, labor ward, we have blood bank. That we give blood. Those are the things, yeah, the basic your ones. Blood bank, okay. Enough. Yes, I. In fact, we 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 have the good blood bank fridges, okay. but the challenge we have is that we don't have adequate uh, supply of blood. You know, we are in the a rural setting where when you call people to come and donate freely, at times they don't come. They will tell you that they are farmers, especially getting to the rainy season that they will do farming. They think that when you donate blood, you cannot work. And that has been the biggest challenge. So at times when we don't have enough blood, we have to refer patients because of that. So that's one of the challenges we so have. those may be some of the cultural reasons mm -hmm. that you don't get yes, the yes. blood to stop the yes. blood bank. So you it. have to refer them. Yes. Let's talk about your antenatal service. Okay. Um, I know you have family planning services yes. too. How is this working? Um, in a rural setting where they believe in having more children? Yes, it's also one of the challenges. Like we are saying, normally the family planning services, they don't accept it readily. Okay. Now we have the uptake less than 50%. Mm. Uh -huh. So we have families with a number of children that still come that they need more children or they are pregnant. And uh, the reason is that it is God that provides. When you talk about family planning, in fact, they won't take it so easily. Okay. Once I was talking to a lady, and she says that the Bible even says that they should go and multiply. <laughs> yes, so I'm telling them to do family planning. When they die and go to heaven, will I be able to answer for them? You see, so family planning is uh, quite a, a big issue here. They don't accept it. And because of that, uh, we have a larger family size. And that one goes with you no know, poverty. 
Yeah. Here is a rural setting. Most of them, they do fishing and minor farming and other things. So this one brings, uh, you know, it's like a cycle. Once you have the huge family that you cannot take care of them well, uh, then yes, malnutrition, anemia, diseases, and others. So those are some of the challenges that but, we but do the, face here. The pregnant women themselves. Yes. What kind of challenges do they face? Because malnutrition, yes, in the children, yes. does it affect the pregnant women too? Yes. Once the once the mother is not very well, the baby, the pregnancy will not uh, grow well. You know, we know research has shown that when the mother is pregnant and uh, the mother hasn't got enough blood, anemia, the baby brain will not develop well. So you have a, a child with low IQ. So that is one of the challenges. We normally give them uh, medicine to boost their hemoglobin. But you know, at times so they, they, they don't understand it well. They think that when they take this medicine, their babies become big and at the end of the day, we operate. They cannot uh, deliver, then we operate. So those are some of the challenges that... Uh, Let's talk about um, this myth or cultural belief yeah. about CS. CS, CS. okay. CS. Mm. Do you have that here? Yes, we, we, we do have. How are you addressing that? Yeah, we constantly talk to them and we show them. In fact, we have a special program in Adan where we meet the traditional birth attendants. Mm -hmm. the, those people, we call them the TBAs. Mm -hmm. Then also some of the, uh, we, what we call face-based organization that they pray for people and other things. Mm -hmm. We meet regularly, twice in a, a year. And we explain it to them. We have video to show. At times we bring them to the hospital. We tell them the reason why a woman cannot have normal delivery and we need to operate. Yeah. But fortunately, I would say that um, we, we, we do it successfully. So now they have accepted it. Yeah. And also the fact that now there is health insurance. Yeah. You know those that when you operate somebody, the cost implication becomes a challenge. Yes. But now because of the health insurance, that challenge is uh -huh. yeah. And so now they appreciate it. Uh -huh. So they do come when there's a challenge. Although there are few instances where they, they want to refuse. Mm. But like we are saying, with dialogue and at times even calling their pastors mm. to explain to them and uh -huh, pray to them, you know. So that is how we are managing. Okay. And I must say that uh, things are working well. Did you have an ambulance in this facility? In fact, we have one old hospital ambulance. That I is like what. To see it. Oh, you want to see I'll it? I'll see it later when <laughs> okay. we are done. You, uh, so. But unfortunately, the national ones are uh, out of commission, as they say. They are, okay. they are not on route. So that is also a challenge. Okay. But uh, we are managing. But yeah. are you making efforts to get one? Because you were talking about in, sometimes in, they in, need to refer. Yes. In fact, the facility, uh, we cannot acquire it on our own. Okay. Through NGOs and maybe through the government, uh, we can get one because it's quite expensive. And now if you look at the money that we generate, we cannot. In fact, one of the things that we need also very, very urgently is a duty post vehicle. Okay. In fact, uh, Adan is quite far from Accra. And we collect all of our consumables and other things, going to meetings in Accra. We don't have any pickup. In fact, this hospital is 15 years old. The only pickup we had is broken down totally beyond repairs. Uh -huh. So that's also where we have a challenge. Now, when we are called for a meeting or when we want to go and procure something like buying of food stuffs and other things for the facility we fall on commercial cars. Wow. Uh -huh. and, and is that the same way you transfer it to the hospital yes yes at times we have to chatter and then they, but they bring it that, that will have implications for your yes services. yes financial implications even the uh, comfort and other things you know it is not easy Accra, at times we have to use our personal small vehicles, travel all this distance to Accra, and it is not, it is not. Because good. everything is concentrated around Accra, yes. anyway, so you have to go there to yes, be able yes, to yes. get it. Uh, but through it all, you've been able to try to stand out. Yes. As the best in yes. greater Accra. Tell me how uh, that, uh, as that, you go to the emergency yeah, uh, okay. department. Yeah, I think it has never been easy. Uh, mm -hmm. I haven't mentioned all the challenges. Yes. But uh, God being on our side, we are 
doing very, very well. In fact, last year, 2017, we were adjudged the best hospital in the greater Accra region, uh, what we call the peer review. Yeah. So every year we move from facility to facility to peer review ourselves. And uh, for, I must say that for the past two years, we've been doing very well. For 2016, we were second. Okay. 2017, we were first. Okay. And it is just a, a lot of hard work. Mm -hmm. But you can see for yourself, the facility, we try to maintain it. Mm -hmm. We have about seven thematic areas that they used to uh, assess us. Okay. And I think overall, we talk about clinic care, uh, clinical practice, our environment, mm -hmm. emergency services, all those, all, all those, those areas. Yes, 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 yes. You have maintained yes. it very well. Yes. 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 So we, 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 we are doing well. It all is not bad. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. All right. So yes. we are going to the emergency mm -hmm. section okay. of the hospital yes. now. So uh, tell me what happens. Yes. Then. Okay. We have an uh, emergency. Mm -hmm. That any patient who is critically ill is rushed to the place for resuscitation. We try to. Uh, resuscitate the patient. How often does that happen? No, quite often. Normally they come in, especially after work, after normal OPD. Okay. You see, from five onwards, you see a lot of people rushing them to their place. Wow. Uh, nowadays, what we've been seeing is this uh, Okada accident. I don't oh, know whether oh, the oh, motor oh, oh, accident. Have so many here too. It is terrible. Now, that is the, in fact, when we talk of road crashes or accidents, the motor, yes, the motor riders or the Okades, the, the one that they use it for commercial yes. purposes. That has been our biggest challenge. The fatality rate. Yes, yes, it's high. You know, uh, on this our car road, when you see they are not in heaven, most of them come with head injury. Most of them come with head injury, and it is quite a serious issue. In fact, just about five years ago, one was rushing, we have to amputate the left. The staff is still on the admission. So that is the biggest challenge that we have in this community now regarding emergencies. And uh, once in a while, we we'll have alcohol intoxication, especially <laughs> at the weekends. Really? Where, yeah, when there are funerals. Yes, yes, yes. We do have those things, and they rush them. So, Although it's a small emergency area, always we are busy. Wow. Always, always we are busy. So that is, uh, then when we bring the patient here and we manage to stabilize, and it's a condition that we can, we can treat here, then we send the patient to the ward for admission. If a patient that we cannot manage in this facility, then we have to refer to either Re, uh, reach regional hospital oh, for Lebu, yes, or 37. Oh, okay. Yes, that okay. is. Uh, That's very far from here to yes. take. Yeah, it takes about two hours. In ambulance, so it will about, take 30 uh, minutes. No, 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 More no. no. Even in ambulance, it will be about one, one and a half hours. But, but with that ambulance, now with traffic and other things, to go to Kolebu, you are talking about four hours. Because I'm told the standard referral time is between 8 and 12 minutes. That's why I'm saying 30 minutes, so I'll yeah, console myself. Yeah, yes, but no, once they are being moved from a facility, mm -hmm. we do stabilize. When they okay. need oxygen, we mm -hmm. give them well, at times when they need blood, blood on them and other oh, things. Uh -huh. So that one is okay. But moving the person from a lower facility where he, they don't have all those things, that one, the time should be short so okay. that you'll be able, when somebody collapses, maybe on the field, or something happened in the house to move that person to a facility. You need about eight to 10 minutes to get to the facility that uh, the nursery help is given. Okay. But from facility to facility, normally they are stabilized. Okay. Uh -huh. that is. Now, the um, maternal health, yes. I know there are some um, hmm. costs. Cost. Sometimes hmm. built in by staying for a long time. It's all that um, covered by the NHIS. Yes. In fact, as for the maternal side, we don't have any oh, okay. uh, big problem. Yes, uh, it's all catered for. So those are only few cases that maybe they are not registered. No. Uh -huh. And so that you one. encourage them to register. Yes, yes, yes. To stay on the scene. Yes. Um, now let's talk about the other departments, like the den dentist. Yes, we have the dental, dental yes, department. You have eye, eye clinic, physiotherapy. 
they are all functioning, but we lack, in fact, we have some equipments, okay. but I wouldn't say they are not standard, but they are quite old. Mm. And maybe if we have uh, new ones, Can it will boost, yes, yeah, it will, uh, that is the thing, but they are all functioning. Are you working towards getting those? Yeah, we, we budget for those, we budget for those things. Mm. But like we are saying, nowadays it's like everything, Almost everything is coming from whatever we generate internally. Okay. And that is where the challenge is. It depends is. solely on the IGF. Yes. Because now this uh, funding from outside is a bit difficult okay. uh, getting it. But so we, I will use your medium to appeal to philanthropists, uh, the good people of Ghana. Ada is a nice place, quite in a remote area. We there are a lot of sick people here, yeah, the poverty is like, well, as you are in the DC, you see. So people who want to help patients or facilities, they should also come out from Accra and help facilities like ours. Normally we see on the TV, the Kualibu, they have donated so much, rich, they have, yes. But here, none of the banks is coming to our aid. None of these big, big men are coming to our aid. So uh, this is the... Yes, appeal. Especially being the number one hospital. Yes, in Greater Accra, we need we need that yeah. support to. But, but what are what's your secret? What do you do that makes you stand? It out? is commitment. Okay. I must say that always. Uh, you see, at down here we don't have money. If you post staff, clinical staff. We don't have what we call locums in Adan to do yes. private job. In. No, and we don't have. Okay. But I tell you, our staff are very committed. When you come and you see them working, you will, I don't know, you, 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 it will marvel you, you will ask why. But another secret is that we recognize hardworking staff okay. and we award them. Mm. Uh, just the uh, end of this year, that's 2017, yes, we awarded the only two anesthetists that we have for this big hospital. Can you imagine? Only two anesthetists, day and night, they are on duty. And uh, they appreciated it. And that is something that I'll say that we have been doing, management have been doing. And because of that, our staff are also happy and working. Mm. The little that we give them, they are always happy. Because when they do the right thing, we will honor them. That is, that is our secret. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Thank you. Yeah. So, here we are, the Adam District Hospital. Yes. Adam East, Adam East, Adam, Adam, Adam East District, District Hospital. Hospital. They have challenges, they triumph over them, and they are talking success. They need your help to be able to do it better. And what I am taking away from this conversation is commitment. When you are committed to something, despite the challenges, you make it through it. 